I, you know, we did this one thing once we did a pirate radio night where we actually took over the airwaves until something like 6 or 7 a.m. non-stop. And we all got a little loopy by the end of it. I think at 4 a.m. I was just reading out random poetry and playing clips from TV shows and then music that I was grabbing almost by closing my eyes and pointing to find the music library. Uh, my name is Cameron Willis and I'm the music resources manager here at CFRC, basically a music librarian. Well, the music resources manager spends most of his time listening to new music, reviewing it, adding it to the playlist, letting all of our DJs who are volunteers on the air know about the new music coming out, while at the same time keeping records and organizing a catalog of the vast historical um, amount of vinyl we have, stuff that goes back to the 1940s. Plus I also do our charts and help live bands and uh, interviews go forward at the station. Well, I, you know, I learned really quickly while I was uh, volunteering and working here that you need to kind of shut down all of your assumptions and your prejudices about what kind of music is good and really force yourself to listen. And I'm pretty much a, um, a researcher. I'm really dedicated to research. So I apply myself to listening to music, maybe the same way someone would research a book or a topic in school. And I think that helps a lot when you're uh, a music manager of some sort or just a volunteer is to really really dig in deep and broadly to the music you love. Well, I think one of the passions you want to have as a volunteer or a staff person at CFRC is a love of things that aren't being heard on other types of media. One of our jobs is to support independent Canadian musicians and genres that you don't get to hear that often, jazz or blues. Uh, so if you love those things, we want you, and having a passion for them means that you care about that more than pretty much anything else. You're searching out obscure Canadian underground tunes, you're caring about the new artists that really need our help, and that's what we're good at, that's what our volunteers are good at.